yo guys welcome to another nafiri lesson video um this one is going to be about like leaning managing mana and then actually like looking for or like when you should go in for an all-in or on your timer to kill your opponent right so yeah that's what we're going to cover in this video um if you haven't watched the previous video on the um i, I talked about team fighting talked about how you can wait out op opponent's abilities basically before you go into a fight so but yeah in this one though we're gonna be talking about laning instead of team fighting this time so yeah let's go into it because well first off um i realized that some people are like saying that they're running out of mana in the fury so in this game right i'm i'm going to show you like how i manage my mana basically right and just how I played the early laning phase um, up until the point where I'm able to like kill Teemo. Alright. So I'm going to just play the video while I run it. So basically lane starts off normal. In this matchup right. Uh, Teemo. Remember Teemo is like a very like annoying champion right. He actually does a lot of damage. So. And Nafiri doesn't do a lot. So. Like early game right so i want to keep my distance now here do you notice that i went for q poke here i just want to make sure i'm following the video too right so i use my second q to, to hit him so i already used the first q on the minions right to help get cs and then i use the second q to hit him all right so my priority is cs though it is cs so i'm looking at this cs right here get that now first of all Bear in mind, I don't play perfect, right? You know, not no, not faker. I mean, even faker doesn't play perfect. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, don't play perfect. But you know, you, you should get the general idea for like what you should be doing. So I use my Q to get the CS right, and I use a passive dog also, right? It's like a 10 second cooldown. You can try to keep a mental track of it. You know, you have to be careful though because sometimes the the pet will attempt to try to execute a minion while your bleed is on it and then it puts it on cooldown so just n take note of that that that's one bad interaction that can happen but yeah okay so okay i get a cannon okay cool cool yeah i don't really get cannons guys i'm gonna tell you so if you see me miss any just know i right, give you the heads up but you notice i'm not like focused on the teemo in this lane so far right and that's how most matchups really goes, right? You're not trying to bully your opponent early in the game, right? Like, truthfully, you shouldn't be doing that. What you should be doing is farming. And then you can land some cues, right? For, like, mana flow ban slash healing, right? But you, you want to get some mana flow ban stacks, basically. So, so far, it's chill. Nothing too crazy. I know I don't have the minimap to show you what's going on around the map. But um, I have to have that on because um, people ghost, right? Even tonight I was playing. Um, they banned both Nafiri and Kled, like, and then next game they banned Nafiri, like, you know, like people are like ghosted, you know, not always, obviously, not always, right? But or even in that case, not necessarily that they were ghosting those games, but like people do just look at streams and then just go so i always have to have a map cover so it's easier for my team to play right especially my jungler i don't want to grieve him that way but anyways for uh back to the game though um right now nothing too crazy just farming 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 looking around the map it's okay cool now you got i'm gonna go down cs right i don't know if you're right you're gonna be down well if you're in a matchup like this you're gonna be down cs right that's not not that's not a big issue. But what you don't want to do, you don't want to fall too behind in CS. Now, that's my objective, not to fall too behind in CS. Right? They want to keep uh you know, you don't want to be down, you don't want to be down 20 CS. You know? You may have to be down 20 CS, but like you wanna to try to keep within like I don't know, whatever the amount the matchup feels like. Like I'm trying to keep it by 10, really. Like 10. If I'm keeping it by 10 in a bat like a matchup that's very hard to play early and I, th I think that's really good it's very good actually not even think it's very good so okay so here you notice that i'm oom um now right 
and this is around a five minute mark drops is up right and you know this is how much gold i have i have enough for the warhammer or i have enough for boots swifties rush and longsword so around that time that you run out of mana you should have enough gold for your first recall to buy something that's that you actually want whether it's a damage that you want from warhammer or you want to do the swifties rush now I know some people are wondering, like, wait, Swifties rush? Like, come on. you're a weak early game champ. Why would you go Swifties? Like, you're not going to do any damage, right? Reason why I'm doing Swifties, right? Because I don't plan on doing anything in this lane right now, right? In terms of, like, trying to kill Teemo. We're just going to be farming. Swifties for safety. He's going to rush Boots as well, right? As you notice, he did rush Boots. So I want to make sure that... There's a, the movement speed difference isn't crazy because what will happen is that Timo will run up to me and start like hitting me. So this way, right, I can always like keep a little distance from him. But as you can see, right, so far, I'm, I've not really looked at the Timo too much, right? I've looked for mana flow band stacks, right, for sure. Okay, Q, on wave. We're farming, we're farming, we're farming. Nice. Now the wave is coming in. Okay, use E. Couldn't get that one. I could have got it if I used Q properly, yeah. Okay, nice. So I landed one Q on him. I was trying to hit the CS and him at the same time, but unfortunately it didn't work out. Because that's that's like a two for one special. Be able to get the CS with the Q but also hit him, hit your opponent, it's perfect. So I'm keeping my distance. Second Q at him. Even if I if I use it on the minion, I wouldn't have gotten it because yeah, it would just end the bleed and then it will do its instant damage, but it won't wouldn't be enough. So I wouldn't get that CS regardless, right? So we try to send it at him. Nice. Okay. Just farming. Nothing nothing you know you know I'm still farming seven minutes in the game. Still farming. Trying to keep up, making sure that we don't fall too behind the CS. Don't want to take too much damage from him now because you don't want to get like in lethal range for a kill. My jungler decides to gank here. It's not a good gank. I try to ping him back, like you know, just chill. We don't need. We don't. We don't. I don't need ganks right now. Right? He the Zach is not sick, so there's like no kill potential there, right? As long as Tima has flash up, right, and he's not six. If he was six, then yes, we definitely have a good. Like chance of actually killing. <laughs> okay, so nothing too crazy. Still farming, still farming, still farming. All right, and uh, yeah. So let's see. Let me see what comes next. Okay, so Tima still here. All right, this video was from uh, a couple of days ago, but I still remember the game. I still wanted to make sure I use this game as an example because I feel like it was a good like thing so i'm gonna all in here right and you're gonna see we're gonna get a kill now let's go back right now we're wondering wait well why 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 did you just go in for the kill here so the thing with nafiri right i do want to point out is that now items are one thing for nafiri to get strong but also levels so now i have four points in my q my q is actually doing damage two points e and we have ulti right we do damage from base levels, right? She actually does do damage from just like getting levels. Because even the R uh, does um gives more AD. Um it it gives more the R gives you more AD each time you rank it up, but also the AD ratio that you're getting goes up. So it's a like that's crazy because that means that for late game when you get like uh level 16, your ulti is moving from like I think like 50 AD to like 70 plus 80 plus and then up to 100 when you have enough items so it's really crazy but basically right the 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 the, the zach gang did help though because it did actually put tima down a little bit in hp right so he's about half health and um hopefully you guys have seen my video on i think i posted a long video on nafiri but i also posted a youtube short announcing that you should no longer go flash on nafiri and should take ghosts because ghost just provides way more than um than flash because flash the only the flash interaction that fear has is like q flash 
that's the only thing that she has right so um ghostress has way more like way like does way more for you overall than what flash can offer for you so i do want you guys to try it too and you'll see here right Timo uses Shroom on the wave. So that's why I went in. Plus, I think around the map, I knew the jungler wasn't topside. So I went in. He's half HP, right? So I know I can go for this. Now, go in with Q. I'm blinded. IE. Did an order that was really bad, but it's okay. And then we just drop another order. Hold on. So E. Save the second Q, right? Because the thing is, right? Remember, the lower they are, the more the second Q does. Because the second Q is like an execute, right? It does more damage, the more health the enemy is missing. And the way it works is not... It doesn't cap out. It doesn't like, oh, when they're at 30% HP, like your second Q is doing the maximum damage it can do. Like, no. Like, if he's on, you know, 5% HP, right? It does more damage. 4%, it's doing more. So the lower the better, right? So you want to save that last Q there. Okay, cool. So we didn't use it early. No, I have on Ghost. So when I I use Ghost right there, so he couldn't get away, right? But it's okay. All right. Now I'm gonna skip through. I'm just gonna try to crash the wave. Mana flow banner isn't stacked yet, though. Normally I'll be to finish stacking it by like six, seven minutes. But against Timo, I wasn't really trying to hit him much, right? Now we're gonna go through, pick up the Warhammer and pickaxe now here i come back to lane let's see what happens i wish i could have like um i wish i didn't have to go back that far but i really want to show you what happens here i land the q on him nice so i'm getting poke damage done now i know i have the damage right and we already killed him once right so i know i can actually go for longer trades now i'm so far ahead so i decided to just w onto him right there as you can see far ahead I know he's weak. Q. I walk away, right, to let him chase me. Because what happens is that Timo will try to get back damage. He's like, nah, I got to do some damage back, you know. And then that's when you catch him with the second Q. Now he's low. Shroom the wave. It's good. But here's the thing, though. With Nafiri, you have to be careful. Do not get baited, right? As champion, um, you can get baited very easily. You'll try to fight without your ulti because you're like, oh, I got my W up, right? I can just dash onto him. But you got to be careful. You can't just randomly engage. Right now, you can see that I'm keeping my distance. I don't want to lose any more health because I want to save it, right, for when I want to go all in for him. Now, he's playing super aggressive. I have an ulti. But now, now I do have an angle to kill him because I have ulti. You notice I didn't try to fight him until I had ulti. So that's the Nafiri. Don't get baited. Like your ult is actually a huge thing for you in fights. Very huge. Waiting. So I I okay, okay. Let me let me break down this part though. Right here, you'll see that I I wanted to W him, right? But when I don't want him to like uh waiting for my Q, of course. I want to W him, right? But I don't want him to run away. So I'm staying, I'm walking up to him, but I'm walking back. So I'm doing a little, you know, wiggle. And then we go for the ulti once I'm like, you know, I can, I know I can get him. Pretty standard, nothing too crazy. And we get the kill. <laughs> so basically what you're seeing, right, is just me being patient, landing cues, and then I go in, right? I went in early, right, because I was that far ahead. And you can do that too, no matter what. Also, when I went in, by the way, um, you saw how I just ran away and then just like land a queue afterwards, right? I don't want to stay in the fight too long because you'll get the chance to do bad damage. And let's pick up uh, Eclipse, come back to lane now. Now I'm like, okay, I am strong. It's time to make sure I land like as much damage as possible because we want to kill him. All right, cool. And then you just see how I play that. There we go. You just shroom the wave. 
so i is because he shoot the wave right i go in so the thing is that's one thing you can do in any any matchup you're playing if your opponent uses one of your spells on the minion wave that means they don't have that spell for you when you go in to, to trade with you right so you can use that opportunity to go in and actually get that like you will take less damage because of that you know it's pretty simple like like these stuff that I like I'm trying to show you right here isn't about like the matchup necessarily, right? It's about like basic like fundamentals, right? <laughs> of how to like trading. Or oh trading goes on a theory, right, rather, right? So or even just like general trading, right? Because as I said, right, Timo used shroom and wave, Timo has no shroom for me, so I go in, right? I take less damage now on the trade. Cool. Now as you can see, not too crazy right now. Farming, pushing the wave, cause I I'm I'm ahead now, right? And I can definitely go on like trade with him, like if he decides to walk up. So I push the wave now. I'm in control of this lane. Like before, it was like him like control the wave. I let him control because I can't do anything about that. So I don't fight him. That was his timer. I don't fight him on this timer. Now it's my timer. And now I'm gonna be pressing my lead. I hide in the bush by the way this is one thing i want you guys to do use brushes well you can get off a lot more stuff because you're just in bushes hiding you'll be like oh you got cheese or whatever but like at the end of the day bro like you're gonna get that lp the enemy's gonna lose half their health bar for free right now i didn't really do anything with it though but i was able to just i was looking for something now he walks up though i land q and, and bear in mind, right, this Teemo is like the highest ranking Teemo player or one of the best Teemos in the world, right? right? His name is Young Fappy. If you guys are familiar with like N, um, NA High Elo, you, you may know him. But yeah, like he's literally like the best Teemo on the server. So I'm just showing you, I'm not, what I mean by that, right? I'm not playing against no like bots, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm playing against like people that are quite proficient other champion okay so all right so just to break down the fight though right i'm ahead i land q i walk away and then he blinded me so the same thing we talked about his spell is down okay i can go in no he has no blind for my engage and and yeah and then i went in and kill him so i end up carrying this game or well, yeah, I did carry this game because I think my team was saying FF15. I think earlier you probably may have saw it, but yeah. But that's pretty much it that I wanted to cover in this video. Like, it's about, like, just, this was like a video. It kind of evolved more than just mana management, right? It was just, it was more about, like, how to trade, how to wait for your timer. And then, like, when it is your timer, how you actually go in when it's your timer, you know? Referring to the fact that he used shroom, he used blind right early, so I go in afterwards. Cool. And I only fight when I had my items. You don't want to fight early. But yeah, I hope this video is good. This video is going over to 18 minutes. That is long, but I hope this helps you guys. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Next video like this, I'm gonna try to do more of these, right? Because I really think the Nafir community needs like more information on this champion bro because there's like there's so many things i'm seeing like i go on a subreddit i see so many so much misinformation um for example somebody's recommending somebody to go electrocute like it's crazy so i really want to make sure that you guys have a good time on a champion by providing like things that are actually good you know what i'm saying so yeah if you guys watch the video this far I love y'all though. But I love everybody that tune in for this video. I love y'all though on YouTube. I love y'all for sure. Uh we be streaming like every day though. Um usually from I think let's say like 9 p.m. EST back to morning around like 6 a.m. 7 a.m. Sometime I even go longer to 8, but like that's overtime, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean Hope you guys like the video though. Drop a like if you got this far for sure. Um, you probably already subscribed, but if you're new, subscribe, join. I'm both. I'm um, going to be posting more and more on Afiri uh, content and try to 
just develop new strategies and like information on what to do. All right. Take care, guys. Bye bye.